Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the simple difference between uh, major and minor chords. I know it's the chords on the piano are very, very, let's say from the basics, you need to know all your major chords and you need to know all your minor chords. And to be honest, there's not a big difference, let's say, to play a minor chord from playing a major chord. Just to explain now what I'm trying to say is, let's say you're playing uh, the chord of C major. C major, we know that it's C, E, G. From C major, let's say if you wanted to play C minor, it is very easy. There's only one simple thing that you have to do to play C minor. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move the second note, which is the middle note here, which is E, one half step back. So we're gonna do E flat. So instead of playing E, one half step back is E flat. And this is C minor. C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Again, I'm playing, I'm using these fingers just so you guys can see the notes I'm playing. So from C major, which is C, E, G, and to play C minor, we move just the second note, the middle note here, which is E, one half step back. C, E flat, G. This is how simple it is to play Let's say you're playing a major chord and you can just play a minor chord. So from C major to C minor. As you can see, I'm still keeping those notes here. I'm keeping C and G. The only note that moves is E to E flat. Can you, can you hear the difference in the sound? This is a C major, C minor. C major, C minor. I think the minor chord has a more sad feeling to it. So, okay, let's do another example. Let's say if I'm playing F major. So I'll let you guys decide how do we go from F major to F minor. It is the same rule. It's the same note that we have to move. Again. F major is F, A, C. And if I want to play F minor, I have to move one note. Which note is that? Can you guys guess which note that has to move one half step back? From F, A, C. So we have to move the middle note, which is A. One half step back. To a flat so from a to a flat so this is an f minor f a flat c major minor major minor and let's do one more let's see if i'm playing g major g so g b d from G major to G minor, I have to move the third note one half step. So from B to B flat. From playing B to B flat. So this is only the simple difference between major and minor. All you have to do is you move the middle note one half step. So if you're playing any major chords on the piano and you're wondering how do I find the minor chords? So you will have to just move the middle note of that major chord one half step back. So let's say if I'm playing uh, E flat major. E flat, G, 
B flat. And to find E flat minor, all I have to do is move the G one half step back to F sharp. So this is E flat minor. E flat, F sharp, B flat. So once again, guys, this is how you find, let's say you move from a major chord to minor chord. And again, there are 12 keys on the piano. So you will have 12 major chords and you'll have 12 minor chords. And if you guys don't know all your major chords and also all your minor chords, um, I have uh, videos that's already posted about all the major chords that how you can learn them and memorize them. And also all the minor chords how you can also learn all the minor chords and memorize them. Uh, why is this is important to know? It's because let's say when you're playing a song that has chord changes and some songs can start with major chords and in between they will change it into minor chords. So this is important to know how you can go from major to minor and also how you can go from minor to major. So which means C major to go to C minor. Once again, we just move one half step back the third note so C major C minor and let's say I was playing C minor and I want to go to a C major all you have to do the third note here you move it one half step forward now from minor to major from major to minor so from major to minor you move one half step back and from minor to major you move one half step forward so let's just recap here C major it has a happy sound to it the, ma the major chords and C minor This is it guys so don't forget to practice and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel like and share and also don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos and practice guys you know just practice your chords practice your major chords practice your minor chords and if you have any comments and just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and uh, practice. See you next time.